Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's funny because, again, going back to the Honda things and being bitching. And then also, too, Berlut, did you know, like, when he's winning and winning all those races, did you kind of know that this is basically the 93 bike? Like, it's not changing, really? Like, Skip's job's pretty easy. They got everything dialed. As you said, Skip, they had a setup for, you know, indoors, for outdoors, supercrosses, and... Like it was a well, basic thing that he we, was comfortable we with. We spent a lot of time on that. I mean, yeah. we caught it home, you know, we, we caught it old faithful. Yeah. Are you, yeah, are you know. saying 93 and 95? Yeah, uh, yeah all the way. Like, <laughs> no, I, I didn't. Yeah. I, I, other than the media or, or you heard about it or yeah. whatever, but I didn't realize it. No. Yeah. You're just like, man, this, we got our 1995 bike, and this guy's still riding a two year old thing and kicking yeah, our ass. Yeah, but reality, the bike, it didn't evolve that much, right? No, yeah. but there were, some, there were some significant issues. I think the, the biggest thing that stuck out in my mind is, you know, he would, he'd come in and go, man, I, I, last year I could just land into the corner, and if I wanted to be on the outside, I ended up on the outside. If I wanted to be on the inside, I ended up on the inside. And then there were some things that were going on with the chassis, and then we, he just goes, now it's like, if I want to go here, I've really got to, I've I got to put in the effort to get there. And it took us, it took us almost a year to figure out what was going on, and it was a center of gravity issue. So all the drawings and everything that we had were off by about seven millimeters of where the center of gravity was on the motorcycle. So the the ninety three was perfect. He just it, yeah. It was just a great. So that's motorcycle. how you guys ended up with the ninety three chassis. And, and so that's until we figured yeah. it out in 90, 95, We we kind of kind of figured it out, and then on ninety six it was the ninety six. It was a it was a still we had a couple little parts here and there and some yeah. different things we could do. <laughs> I mean the but. engine evolved right of course along the way, but we every year we went to the new chassis, whatever they brought out the right. new one. We tried it. Yeah. It didn't work as good. <laughs> like, and I rode the new bike in Europe or whatever, right? So, yeah. like, I'd ride a stock bike because that was when you could ride stock bikes. you just yeah. bring some fork and shock and pipe and, and call yeah. it a day and go. Yeah. Um, so I always rode a newer bike sometimes. But, like, when it came to racing, we stuck with that one chassis because also, if you remember, it would come out of the line. It would come off the oh. line. It had better traction than the rest. So the year in 95 was it, I think, that – like the first four or five races, the one race at Anaheim when I passed Larry Ward on like lap ten, yeah, we had a really good race going. Um, that that race I was riding a new bike, newer bike. Yeah. Right after that I switched you, back. You, San, you went back. San, yeah. San Diego. So uh, San so, Diego. Yeah. Go ahead. Finish. Yeah. So I every year we kind of we sort of gave it a valiant effort, like <laughs> hey let's ride this new bike, let's try it, and it was really it, we just I just like I said I wasn't that comfortable. With. There's a few things that. The older one did better. Yeah. Different foot peg position, different center gravity, whatever. Um, but you know, in '95 and '6, the engine got a lot better. But they, but we used the newer engine, but same or older yeah. bike. Yeah. You know, so no one really could tell. You couldn't look at it. I mean, the thing I look, the thing I think about now, and thinking back to those old days, which is crazy to me, right? We won in '96. I won 13 Supercross in a row, and. You would have thought that the R&D team would again went, hey, Jeremy, what do you think? What do you want to do for next year? Yeah. They come out with the shittiest bike ever made. <laughs> and they're like, how many supercrosses do you think you can win with this? I'm like, yeah, zero. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's but just, you know, those things are planned two, three years in advance. Right? I know, yeah, but, but like still. you have a, I was winning three, four yeah. years before. Yep. Right? Yep. So they should have said, well... That, yeah, that yeah. frame's looking pretty good for right, now. Right, right. You know, we're just hey, going to keep that until he don't win anymore. I got an idea. Let's throw that bike away. Yeah, <laughs> let's throw the best 250 ever made. Yeah, I mean, look, the 96, yeah. Put it on the shelf and get a this this street bike with right. dirt bike tires. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I, just, I remember uh, saying that. It's Diego. just weird to me. Yeah. No, I, looking it, back. I mean, yeah. we, now, then you didn't really – back then you're like, okay, new bike, whatever. We yeah. always got new bikes. But right. looking back now, you'd go like – what were the higher upper yeah. management thinking? Yeah. It was dumb. We had a great combination. We were winning everything. I think it's still. I think it's 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 to make a change, just to make a change. Like, it's like okay, we got to make a change to market it to sell it. Well, well but, what we and, did, and and I don't think that's. And I think we see that. We well, what see we didn't what, know then exactly. Was, you're you're the the best. Well, case. What we had no idea then was it was that those guys were three years out. Right. They they were building that aluminum chassis. They were doing all those things that was going to change the world. And all the things that we were doing on the chassis was rigidity up, rigidity up, rigidity up. All these things. Everything that we like were a, testing like at that time. Like a street bike. Like you know, so all those things. Yeah. And yeah. Now, I mean, this is, this. is I learned this maybe 10 years after it was all done. You know, that's <laughs> that, that was funny? The, that, yeah, that's but funny. But they, they were on a mission. So Yeah, I, but yeah. knowing what we know now, they could have worked th on it three more years. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe four. Yeah. yeah. 
you know, and finally yeah. got to the bike when they came out with yeah. it, like in 2000. Yeah, three it, years. It took yeah. them three or four years before yeah. guys were happy with it. A this. long Absolutely. time. Because yeah. the, the prototype bike, I think, is the last time that you and Lambert were together in, right. in Japan. The prototype bike. This scar from we're, Japan <laughs> right there. <laughs> no. uh, we were yeah. pretty excited about it. So yeah. we did the prototype bike. We, yeah, we go home. We do a couple more races. We come back, and, and they raced on the production version. Yeah. And these guys yeah. come in, and they're like, Whoa. What is this? <laughs> yeah, Rich Taylor tells me the story. They had a couple of cracks show up, and they got stressed. And they just they built just, it, beefed it yeah, up. We can't that, have nothing yeah. break. So, <laughs> well, like, yeah. so all the, yeah. all the yeah. Yeah. So well, if you remember, more. those frames were all built. So where the, where the foot peg <clears throat> mount, swing arm pivot, and all those yeah. were, all, One were, piece. All, were all machined yeah. or, or um, uh, forged pieces. So everything before that was all CNC. So it was all, it wasn't forged material. The, everything was totally was different off. with that. Yeah. Locations and everything were the same. <laughs> Jimmy comes in, he goes, every time I hit a jump or case it, I feel everything in this uh, motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like, it was, I, I mean, the final was, straw of that was like, we were at Glen Helen testing outdoors. And, you know, the bike, you saw it with Lusk later. I mean, the bike yeah. was all right if the track was as hard as this table. Yeah, yeah. You know, because it, it wouldn't get kicked funny. It wouldn't do anything. It was, it was decent. You could yeah. ride it. It would almost bind up, wouldn't it? You could it? ride it yeah. a little bit if it was hard pack. Uh, soft track. Un impossible but we were riding outdoors like a we always did like a one test outdoors yeah. thing and then that was the day i'm like i called my dad i'm like i'm done i gotta leave i it's like i forgot how to ride yeah yeah, yeah. i was like <laughs> what happened like i couldn't even yeah. ride so yeah. it was bouncing me out of ruts and stuff and i was like no way i can't there's no no way i can't do it yep so yeah it's funny to look back on that uh talking if about we wouldn't have went outdoor riding that that year you maybe would have stayed Might, on it. Yeah. never yeah. know yeah. Yeah. never know yeah it is so obviously we're all involved in the sport now. You guys are, are passionate watchers of it, followers of it. You're, you're ambassador for Cali. You're at a lot of races, doing all that stuff. 